Okay, this is going to be a video about how to get the Play Store on the Kobe Kairos MID8127. I've had a lot of res uh, I had a lot of people wanting me to do this, so I'm going to show you that I have the Play Store. This is the new Play Store, not the uh, old one. <coughs> so I have this; it all works. Everything's good. So I'm going to go into File Explorer. <coughs> and show you what files that I installed to get this and I'll put a link to the instructions in the description for this so I'm going to go to my T flash my micro SD card that I have in here and the stuff that I installed to get this on here <coughs> uh, there will be a little list of things that you have to download and install on your computer, and well not on your computer, but you have to put on your SD card to put on your tablet. Uh, one of them, just a couple of things that will be in the list, there's going to be Backup Transport, APK, Google Calendar, Google Contacts, Google Feedback, Google Partner Setup, and then Google Services Framework. Those don't have anything to do with this. And then you can, you'll, the first one you'll get is Vending APK. That will be the old market. You can put that on there and use that if you want to. But if you want the new one, you're going to have to get one of these uh, <coughs> Android Vending APK. And it'll have a little Play Store symbol instead of uh, the little Android, the old Android market symbol. Once you install all those, <coughs> and you install the market. I cannot stress enough how important it is for you to restart your tablet after you install them. Don't try to use the market because it will not work. It will fuck up and then you'll be fucking pissed at me, blaming me, calling me a dumbass and you know it ain't my problem that you didn't restart your tablet. But once you restart your tablet and you sign into your account, your Google account, then you'll be able to use the Play Store just like you would on any other tablet. I haven't tried to buy any paid apps because I don't pay for anything on here. I hate paying for apps. It's stupid. But I've had no problem with downloading free apps. Uh, I've modified the uh, the build properties so I can download any app I want to without restrictions. Uh, <coughs> I'll put the link to the new Android market and the instructions to get the old one on here. You will have to use the old instructions and just replace the vending uh, app. You just replace the Android market app with the old one if you want the new Play Store and that will work. Uh, other than that, that's all I'd have to say for now. So if you have any other questions, just put them in the comments section. Thank you. Bye.